Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up six. NASDAQ's up 116. S&Ps are up 21. Gold. Gold contract up $13.80, trading at set at $17.31 an ounce. You get silver flat, $18.68 an ounce. Light sweet crew down $366. 96.21 a barrel in notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up a full point plus four ticks at 118.19. The 30-year up uh, two points at 140.13 in King Dollar. King Dollar is uh, <clears throat> trading down 178 at 106.898. Euro is 101. Yen is at 137. And the British pound is at <clears throat> 119 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P. It's going to get really intriguing coming into this close. The reason being is that, you know, the high in the S&Ps out here, uh, E-minis, is 39.91. Now, that being said, if this blows us away coming into the close, you're going to start talking about a 42.20. It's an ABC structure. It's a potential ABC structure. Let's put it this way, on the way up. And that would <laughs> be just enough to, to really flip some... Uh, folks out. There's no doubt about it. We'll see whether it can get done. You know, what we did, you had one downdraft during the day. That came down to about a 50% retracement. We got down to this uh, 39.71. Bottom line, you've been building cars since that point. So we'll see how this uh, shakes out coming into the close. Gold, the gold contract, rejected lower price. Bottom line, you know, you had buyers down there, but you still don't have strength. We st well, when I say you don't have strength, a sign of strength, folks, is wide price spread accelerated volume. And the bottom line is that we got out here today to get a rejection of lower price. Uh, bottom line, we'll see whether we can get the volume come into the contract, okay? At this point, you know, you're, you're rolling contracts, but we still don't have volume inside of that. And of course, this is all about the good old U.S. dollar. Now, the intriguing part here is that the dollar but it's down 177, but the dollar has rejected lower price. So this is going to be really intriguing coming into tomorrow morning because the number to keep an eye on, if we can get the dollar down 100 ticks before we close out at 4 o'clock, that would be a big number, man. Uh, close over 106,792 says the dollar can go higher. And right now, you're 100 and about 70 points over that level. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharp.